The first card you have your past is um, the Page of Wands. Yeah, so there's a lot here. It's quite intense, actually. I'm, I'm feeling very intense when I see this. A lot of really strong, intense feelings. Not a lot of action, not a lot of talking, just feelings, thought, intention, very strong feelings. Um, yeah, I think I saw something like this in one of your past readings. Someone was sending you something negative, negative energy, um, or they're having bad thoughts about you, um, and I'm getting that here too. But I'm getting two sides of that. There's positive and the negative. It's really strange. It feels doubled, double intentions. And uh, there's, there's conflict here because I'm getting sadness, missing, longing. That's one side of this. But then there's this anger on the other side. So with the angry one, it might be that someone's trying to do something remotely, uh, sending you something negative, uh, something very heavy. That's what I'm getting, some kind of negative thing. They might be trying to do something to you remotely. Um, horrible, I know. Uh, and then someone else has these very uh, feelings of missing you and wanting to be with you and positive feelings about you in that way, like loving you, all that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, I think these might be two completely separate people because I'm getting two different energies here. They're kind of mixed up together though in this in this card. So, um, you know, if this is you, if you're feeling this negative energy, um, that someone's trying to send you this, I think, because uh, just, just know this, no one can force you to receive negativity if you don't want to. You need to know your strength. You need to be strong. Um, and yeah, I think I said I was going to do a video about this subject last time this came up in your reading, and I completely forgot. So this is reminding me. So um, I think I will do that after these signs. But anyway, um, I'll just say this here for you now. The key to not letting these energies affect you is to know your strength, to know you're stronger than any of that. Anyone, anything, any energies. You have the universe, you have the universe inside you and it's outside of you as well, but it's inside you. And if someone wants to send you that kind of energy, you know, clearly they feel beneath you in some way. They don't recognize the strength they have inside them. So if you recognize the strength you have inside you, you're already ahead of them. Um, but yeah, if a wave of negativity comes to you, if you feel this energy, um, obviously it's a horrible feeling. So to kind of remedy that or to try to remedy that immediately, uh, you could shut your eyes and say something like, I'm strong, I reject this energy. I'm strong, I reject this energy. You can say something like that. Um, but the key is, you know, you can say anything you like, but I think if you don't have that really strong feeling in your heart of your own strength, it's not really going to work. So I think you need to prepare yourself to be strong first. Know your strong, know your strength, know your power. Go by yourself or do something like that. Get into that feeling, prepare yourself first, and then you can start to say that to yourself. So do all of that. And every time that comes in, whenever you feel that again, if this is you, obviously, um, Get yourself into that feeling of strength and then say that to yourself. It doesn't have to be out loud. But whoever this is who's trying to send you this negative thing, they're trying to send you a negative message without saying anything remotely. Because pages can be about messages and, you know, they don't think they're up to where you are because this page is looking up to the top of this wand and he's measuring himself up against the wand and he's, he's falling short. Look at how short he is. So just know that. Just just know how powerful you are. And looking at that card might remind you of that as well. So I hope it does. Um, okay, so the next card you have you passed is the King of Cups. So yeah, there are these two people. Here we are again, these two people thinking about you. One's missing you and the other one's a lot more negative. So the feeling I'm getting around this, obviously this is the more positive one. This is the missing you one. This is about cops, love, um, emotion, all that kind of thing. Someone misses you. That's what I'm getting. And someone misses, yeah, they miss your conversations. I'm getting that as well. They miss your conversations. Um, it's really strange because I'm not seeing long conversations here. I think you had uh, you had conversations with them, but not many really long conversations. But it feels like when you're with them, when you were talking to them at one time, um, they were hanging on to your every word, I think, and they took a lot of your words away with them. And, and I think that's what's happening now. They're 
by themselves. They're thinking about what you said about them or to them, and they're hanging on your every word, and they're sitting there going, oh, they said that, maybe that means this, and maybe that means that, and remember when they said that? Oh, I remember that feeling. So that's kind of what they're like right now. Um, and uh, yeah, they're not saying anything to you though, just like the person who's trying to send you negative thoughts, this person's not saying anything to you either. They're feeling, but they're not saying. There's a lot of emotion around them. Um, and yeah, I think this is probably an ex, this is probably an ex-love connection or something. Um, yeah, there was a lot of hold, hot and cold energy around them as well. Um, and that, that might be why they're not saying anything, because I think that was a problem when you were with them hot and cold energy, not communicating. One minute it was like, oh yes, I want you. And the next minute it was, you know, you're getting these one word answers. And sometimes even no answers, I think, you know, you'd text them, but they didn't answer you. So yeah, war hot and cold, warm and cool. And they're the colors on this card as well. You know, lots of greens and then there's reds as well. So, um, but yeah, this king's not showing us any emotions, so I think that was probably typical of what you went through when you were with her. But uh, they're really still thinking about you, and um, you know they're trying to push these feelings down, I think, under the water, but they come back up again. And they're really hanging on your every word. They think, oh, I wish I could have these conversations again, I wish I could say this, but they're not doing that. So, so yeah, that's what I'm getting in that card. Very strange energies already in this reading. Um, okay, so the last card you have you passed is uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is a bit mixed as well. <sighs> this reading already is quite strange, but yes. Um, okay, so I think this is about work. Um, but there are other things around this as well, you know, feelings, attitudes from other people. Uh, you might be getting a few strange attitudes toward your work or toward what you'd like to do, maybe. I don't know why that is. I'm just getting that. Um, okay, so the first thing around this quite is quite uh, specific. So I'll just tell you what this is. Uh, okay, so before I get into that, to me, it feels like your work's okay. You're fine. You're doing whatever this is. It's okay for now. Um, I'm getting this in a few readings this week. A lot of people have been in, in work for money. And I know a lot of people will hear this and they'll say, well, that's why you work. You work for money. It is partly why, of course it is, but not totally, or it shouldn't be the total reason why. Um, and a lot of people know that, but they feel stuck where they are. They're on a treadmill of you working to pay bills. And that's normal. That's kind of a normal experience. But I think over the last few years, there's been a trend toward a more um, minimal approach and, and I think that's going to escalate even more this year. It's going to become the norm, I think. People are going to start to think, do I want this thing? Do I want to buy this thing? Or is it for impressing other people? And they're going to be like, no, I'm going to be myself. I'm not going to buy this. I'm going to save my money for myself and my true purpose. And, and I think that's what you're doing this year. That's what you're going to be doing, especially in the beginning of this year, paring things down, getting rid of things you don't need and, and just keeping more money to yourself for a future purpose, a future reason. And you'll get there faster, I think. You'll turn things around a lot faster because you've got this wheel. You've got the wheel of fortune turning around faster and your money's going to your purpose. It's not going to all these other things. But yeah, back again with, with the specific work thing. Um... Yeah, this is going to sound a little bit strange, I know, but I'm going to say this anyway. I don't care if I sound strange anymore. I used to, but I don't now. I've got this corridor in my mind. It's like a long corridor. So I think this might be in your workplace. And I think you might go there a lot. And I think you might try to avoid going there, actually, because there's some kind of... There's someone around this area, and it feels like you actually don't like going there, or you might even dread going there. It's a not very good feeling that you get around this person when you go past them in this corridor. Um, there's not a good energy around them. It's a horrible energy, actually. So if, if that makes sense to you, um, the first thing I want to say is if they've done something serious, uh, report them if that feels safe to you. Um, but yeah, it feels like there are other people who feel similar to you as well, or they're in a similar position to you. So I, I can't quite see, you know, what they're doing. I don't know what this is all about, but all I can get, all I'm getting is this feeling and you go past them or you have to go past where they are and you feel horrible. So other people feel this way as well. I keep on getting those as well. So try and talk to other people who might be around them or whatever. Try and talk to them privately. Um, 
Be careful around this though. I, I'm getting a bit of caution around this. See if there's a way you can stay away from them. I don't know if that's possible, but yeah, I keep on getting this horrible feeling. Um, and if you're feeling that, do what you can to stay away. And also I keep on getting this safety in numbers, safety in numbers. So talk to other people about this as well, privately, away from this person, obviously. Um, you know, you might be able to get together with some other people and report them, or it might just be that they give you some support. But I think stay away as much as you can. I think they do need to be reported because it does feel serious, but get together with some other people and, and talk about this. Uh, I think that'll help you feel a bit safer and a bit more comfortable and a bit, be a bit better. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with my words. It's, it's this horrible feeling, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go on with the next card. So, yeah, the first card you have your presence, the Five of Wands. Oh, okay, I thought I'd escape that horrible person in that card, but I haven't. They're still here in this card. So, yeah, this is a bit of a warning. I'm getting this person again in this card. Uh, so they're really, really, whoever needs to hear this really does need to hear this because it's a big, horrible thing. So, um... If you're going to go and report them for whatever reason, and I don't want to discourage you from doing that, I, I really don't, because I'm getting a very heavy feeling around this. Um, but it, it feels very seriously. So if you're going to do anything official, go about this really carefully. This is someone who can cause a lot of chaos, I think. So be very, very careful, because look at this card, it's total chaos. And if you feel uneasy around this, which is what I'm getting, um, definitely do what you need to do, but be very careful of how you approach this. Because the other thing this card's showing me about them is they're not someone who likes to stand out. They're, they're not someone who likes to show themselves, if, if that makes sense. They like to keep themselves sort of under the radar. And to me, that means they might have something to hide. And, and you know, they deserve to be called out on whatever they're doing. It needs to be out in the open. But you know, they're, they're trying to hide. You know, this card's a bit like one of those hidden object puzzles. There's no central focus, so it'd be easy to hide things in there. So that's how I'm seeing that card. Um, okay, yeah. I actually think I'm getting this now. I actually think someone else is probably going to pursue this. They might start to fight them. They might report them or something or expose them in some way. Yeah, someone's going to get ahead of you in this. They're going to do this. They're going to uncover this truth. So be prepared if, if this is about you. You might have to stand up next to someone. Obviously, there's going to be stress around this if this happens, but it's going to be worth this. Um, it, it really will. And it'll make you feel a lot stronger as well if you tackle this again alongside this person. Because again, I was seeing safety in numbers. So that's what I'm seeing again here. And you've got the strength card here as well. Something's going to be uncovered at some time. Something's going to be uncovered about this person. And I think you're going to play some kind of part in that. That's what I'm seeing there. Okay, so the next card you have your presence, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is actually looking really good for you because you've got this and you've got um, the Wheel of Fortune as well. And it's quite rare to have them in the same reading and it's quite special to see that. So there's a big shift here. And a lot of people have been feeling this lately. I'm getting this quite a lot. It's like this feeling of optimism, but then there's tiredness as well. It's like, I know I want to do this. I'm going to do this, but I can't quite do it yet. I'm not quite ready. Just let me sleep another day. <laughs> just let me put this off another day. So that's the kind of thing I'm getting. So you just need a push, I think, with something. Um, yeah, I've seen something around this in your readings before. There's some kind of studying or something like that. It's about career, but it's more than that. It's interesting because in the Wheel of Fortune, I think it was in that or something, I think it was the Wheel of Fortune, but um, yeah, I was getting this feeling of people having a kind of strange misunderstanding about who you really are or what you like to do or your job or your career. And uh, I know this is a positive card, but I'm getting this here. It's like, Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. No one else has done that. Everyone else does this. And yeah, I'm seeing family around this as well. So it might be that you'd you'd be the first person in the family to do this particular thing. It's it's something like that. That's what I'm getting. It's like you're a trailblazer. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. And you're kind of having backwards and forwards about this. Yeah, I've seen this before in your readings. There's, there's someone who used to be with you 
behind you, pushing you, but they're not around you now for some reason. Yes, it might actually be that they're not on this earth anymore. I've seen that in your readings before as well. Someone who used to be by your side, helping you, pushing you, encouraging you, they're not there now. That's what I'm getting. If you look at this card, you know, this beautiful coin, this beautiful gift's being given to you, and it's coming from the heavens. That's where it's coming from, out of the clouds. So that's how I'm seeing that. There's a gift coming from you, or for you, from the heavens. Um, and I keep on getting this feeling that you want to do this, but you need this push. So whoever's around you, physically around you, uh, someone's trying, or they're trying to discourage you, or uh, they're trying to tell you not to do this or whatever. I keep on seeing that. So you really just need to turn your back on them and you need to turn your face toward this coin, toward the gift. Um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. So accept this gift. And it's not an easy gift. I know that. It's a difficult path to go down. Because if you look at this path, um, it, it's narrow. Not many people go down this path. But you can. You're supposed to go down this path. That's the message in this card. And uh, so if, if you can do this, try and take one action toward this today. Just concentrate on that. Try not to look too far into the future. Just look at taking this action today. Be in the now. Be in today. Do the work today. A lot of people get caught up in looking too far ahead and that can give them a bit of anxiety. You know, there's a big mountain on this card and if you look at this big mountain you have to climb, it's like, oh, it's overwhelming, I can't look at that. So don't look too far into the future and don't look too far into the past either. Don't overthink the past. Don't think, oh, I couldn't do this last time. Someone told me I couldn't do this. I failed last time. Don't think about that either. Look at the now. Focus on the now and take small steps that, that you need to take now and that's going to lead you to the right place, to where you're supposed to be. So focus on the now. I'm going to take this one action now. I'm going to do this now. Um, okay, so I'll go on to the next card, which is the Six of Swords. So, um, okay, so yeah, this is really just confirming what I'm seeing in the Ace of Pentacles. Um, if, if you're still around these people who are discouraging you, even if it's subtle discouragement, because sometimes it can be subtle, but sometimes that's the worst if it's subtle, because you can't quite tell if they're trying to discourage you or not or what. Um, if, if you're feeling this, if your instincts are telling you that that's what they're doing, it is. Um, you've got to really turn your back on this if this is happening to you. I'm not saying totally turn your back on people, especially if this is family, but just get some distance because it feels like um, at the moment, you've got these people that are trying to push you into a certain direction and away from the direction that you want to go into. And you've got no one on your side pushing you in your direction or helping you. Um, just if you look at this boat, um, which is what I'm looking at, um, if someone's pushing a boat in one direction and, and everyone else is trying to push in the other, other direction, it's going to go in the, in the way that everyone's trying to push. So you've got to get out of this boat that everyone's trying to push you in and get in your own boat and go in your own way. Because you have the map. You have the map. You know where you want to go. You know where you're supposed to go. And you've got this divine help. You've got this person above you helping you, leading you in the right way. Go in that way. Go in that way. You know where you're going. So that's what I'm getting in that card. Um, I hope that makes sense to someone. I really do. So... The first card you have your future is strength. So yeah, this is all over this reading. Keep to your strength. Know your strength. Don't let anyone sway you. Don't let anyone put you into another boat. Don't let anyone push you into anything. Do what you know you should be doing. Keep to your strength. Uh, and yeah, I'm just seeing this again in this card. Um, I, I don't want to upset anyone, but... This person you're missing, this person who's looking down on you, um, or down toward you, I should say. Not they don't, they don't look down on you, but I think you know what I mean. Uh, this person in the Ace of Pentacles, they used to be your strength. They used to push you, but they're not there now. They're there spiritually, just know that. They're there spiritually. They're around you spiritually. And, and maybe that's one of the reasons why you're, you're kind of struggling to push yourself. Uh, you know, it might be that the need to get up and do this thing might be tied in with that feeling of missing them. Because I think you know that that's what they wanted you to do. 
So you might be thinking, I want to do this, but then when I start thinking about doing this, I think about missing them, I think about them and all of that, and I feel really sad, and that kind of stops me. Um, don't let that stop you. Don't let that stop you. Use that as a reason to push you. Think, they want me to do this, they want me to do this, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Every time I feel that sad feeling, every time I miss them, that's going to give me the strength to know that that's what they want me to do. So I'm going to make them proud. I'm going to do what they want me to do. Um, and I just want to say this as well. Your memories of them are quite different from a lot of other people's memories of them. So don't let other people's perceptions override yours. I just felt as if I had to say that as well. So if that resonates, just think about that as well and just know that. Okay, so the next card you have for your future is the Nine of Cups. Okay, this is something totally different. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. If you're single, this actually looks like a bit of a reunion to me. And I don't see this very often in this card because it's usually about being by yourself. But when I look at this, um, okay, I'll say it this way. If you've got an invitation coming up or, or there's something coming up around a celebration or something like that somewhere where there's drink or dinner or something there's a possibility that someone you already know might be at this thing and yeah I'm just seeing you talking to someone uh, it's going to be someone you haven't seen for a, for a long time so yes reunions again there's definitely a spark there definitely there's a spark but I'm also getting a bit of pressure around this. You might be t talking to this person and it just feels like you're fine, you're happy to talk to them, but all eyes are on you. That's what I'm getting. Lots and lots of eyes looking at you, lots of pressure around you. So it might be that, you know, you it, it's really off-putting to know there's all this pressure around you. It might be that you're single and there's pressure on you to meet someone and they're all watching and they're all looking and they're all saying, oh, look, they've met someone. Oh, they're talking to this person. Let's see what they do next. Let's see if they get along. Oh, they laughed. Let's look at that. Oh, that's a good sign. And that's exhausting and horrible and really awkward. So, and all that is probably going to stop you from relaxing if that happens. So, you know, I'm seeing you talking to this person at this thing, but there's definitely a barrier there. And, and that's because of all this awkwardness, I think because I keep on picking up on that. So if you want to take this further, I think you're probably going to have to do that in private until you feel comfortable. See them privately, get out of the way of all this pressure, um, you know, wait until you're comfortable with them. It, it just feels, I keep on getting all this family pressure in this reading. It's all through this reading. Lots and lots and lots of family pressure. Um, the other thing I want to say around this person where there's a spark, where you'll see this person with this reunion, it's not this person in the King of Cups. This is a totally different person. So I just wanted to clear that up in case you're confused. Um, yeah, there's all this family pressure here. I'm getting that again. It's all over this reading. And I'm seeing it again, actually, in the Two of Wands. So I'll just talk about this now. Um, there's this pressure of feeling as if you can't move forward. People trying to hold you back. If you look at this man, I'll just push it up so you can see everything. Um, yeah, if you look at this man, he wants to go forward. He wants to go forward into the world. He wants to achieve things. Deep down, that's what he wants to do. And he knows that that's what he's supposed to do. But there's this other one here and it's stuck behind him and it's bolted onto the wall. So I think there are some people who want to keep you bolted onto the wall. They don't want you to achieve what you want. I'm not saying they're horrible people, but there's something around, I don't know why this is, but they want to stop you from doing what you want to do. Whether they mean to, whether they don't, whether they just want to protect you from the big bad world, I don't know, but there's something there. And the message here is whatever you do, please don't be bolted to this wall. You know, we're only on this earth for a short time. Don't spend it being bolted to a wall. Don't spend it doing what other people want you to do. Yes, this path is hard. This path is narrow on the Ace of Pentacles, but it's the Ace of Pentacles. This is fantastic. You're supposed to be doing this thing that's difficult, that you know you want to do deep down. You know you do. So please go down that path. Please do that. 